Unbridled Song tends to throw speed and beauty and I think Twirling Candy gives them the soundness and the big monster walk that they have. For us, it's just been kind of like this. He's been a superstar to us. Ron Bauer was folded and raised here. So he's just, literally, he's one of those sires for our farm, for Mockmer Hall. We haven't been able to do any wrong with him. He's just been, he's been one of the rocks of our farm. Gift Box had that big old fancy walk. And the reason we ended up putting him in the Night of the Stars is to showcase it. Because I figured, hey, let's get him out there and the more people see his walk, the more they're gonna love him and that's exactly what happened. Dave and Gordo ended up buying him and he had told me he had bought him for Mr. Farish. I thought, hell, that's a great race home. He also said to me, well, you know, John Sadler has had a lot of luck with this family. He trained our new recruit, who's the grade one winner. The mayor's a half sister, our new recruit. So it worked out perfectly right there. The rest is kind of history. I mean, he was a really good two-year-old. He was a TDN Rising Star three-year-old. He just got better as he got older. To win the grade one and beat McKenzie was super thrilling. I think he's priced right and we're gonna support him. He brought more than quadruple of the average of twirling candy his first crop. David and Gordo bought him as a weanling for 135,000 out of the phasic November sale and got him back to the farm and it seemed like a pretty shrewd piece of business. Um, had great strong hips, strong shoulder, nicely balanced. The thing that stood out the most about him was he just moved great. He was very smooth, fluid mover, very easy on himself. It was nice to see that came forward onto the track. That's why he was able to show some brilliance at two, where he was great at stakes place as a two-year-old and then had the longevity to stay sound and keep going, competing at the highest honours at in the handicap ranks. That's something that I see with a lot of the twirling candies. They've got great minds to them. They take everything in their stride and they've got a lot of heart to them. They're very easy to be around, twirling candies and gift box himself. Just very mentally, very sound horses. He showed that in his um, racing career where he was just had that heart. Everybody wants to have that horse with the nice pretty angles because they just move easier and then when you go and walk them out there at the, at the sales grounds and they stretch out of their shoulders and track up as well as the candy rides and the twirling candies do, it makes their life so much easier.